getting more done in less time is every busy professional's definition of a productive day. Combining Dragon Medical Practice Edition with the PowerMic 2 allows medical professionals to achieve the dream of total efficiency. My name is Josh Stewart. Today I'm going to show you how to properly configure Dragon Medical Practice Edition with the PowerMic 2. Are you ready? Let's start by getting to know the products we're going to be working with today. Dragon Medical Practice Edition is the most advanced speech recognition application in the world. The Practice Edition was specifically designed for medical dictation. Now basically what this program does is it allows you to dictate into virtually any Windows based application. You can produce documents three times faster than typing. It includes 60 medical specialty and subspecialty vocabularies. It supports HIPAA regulations. It has full EMR and EHR support, has regional and global accent support, and is available in English, German, Dutch, and French. The Dictaphone PowerMic 2 is a handheld, programmable USB microphone specifically designed to enhance physician productivity. This microphone offers simplified thumb control operation for dictating, navigating, reviewing, editing, and speech recognition commands. The first thing we want to do is create a profile within Dragon Medical Practice Edition using the Dictaphone Power Mic as the dictation source. If this is your first time opening the application, a new profile creation wizard is going to appear. Essentially, this wizard is going to assist us with the profile creation process. I'll simply select Next to begin. Now, this new user wizard is conversational, so it's going to ask us questions. If we're ever curious of why they're asking the questions, there's links on all of these pages. Otherwise, fill in the information. I'll put Joshua. Select Next. I can choose my age or my age group per se. Select Next. My region, whether it's United States or Canada. And then I can go through and choose my vocabulary. Again, there are about 60 vocabulary and subspecialties to choose from. Choose the one that best fits your needs. Select Next. Your accent. Now again, Dragon does support regional and global accents, so go through and find the accent that best matches yours. And select Next. Now this is the part where it says, how do you want to talk to your computer? Now you see up on the top there, PowerMic 2 is selected as the default option. And that's simply because I have the PowerMic 2 plugged into my computer. If you do not see PowerMic 2 as an option, it just means you don't have it plugged into your computer. Select PowerMic 2 and go to Next. It's going to give you the ability to review your choices. If everything looks good, select Create. At this point, we're going to go through the audio setup, so select Next to continue. Select Start Volume Check and read the text that appears in the box until you hear a beep. While you are reading this, the computer will adjust your volume settings and then beep to signal that the process is complete. Speak into the microphone as if you are talking to a friend in person. It should only take about 10 seconds to complete this step. If you do not hear a beep, start reading again from the beginning until you do. While you are reading this, once I've heard my beep, I'll select Next to continue. And I'm essentially going to do the same thing here. For Dragon to recognize your voice accurately, it needs to check the quality of your audio system and your microphone. Speak into the microphone as clearly and naturally as you did in the previous step. While reading this, Dragon is listening to you and examining the quality of your audio. Once I've got that second confirmation beep, I can go ahead and select Next. This is going to give me the ability to go through the training, which essentially is allowing Dragon Medical Practice Edition to learn your voice. For this training, I'm going to go ahead and select Skip Training. However, I recommend that all of you do go through and select the option that says Show Text with Prompting. The system will ask to adapt and uh, essentially improve the accuracy. Make your selection and choose Next. 
again, it's now going to want data collecting. Data collecting is basically gathering acoustical information to submit to Nuance so that they can improve future versions. Make your selection and choose Next. I'll select Don't Run Data Collection. Congratulations, your profile is ready to use. Select Finish to complete the process. By default, the buttons on the PowerMic 2 are pre-configured when your profile is created, which gives users the best out-of-box experience. Now, if you want to enhance the functionality of the PowerMic 2, use the Options menu. The Options menu allows you to reconfigure the device to meet your specific needs. So follow me as I access it by going to Tools, Options, and then we see PowerMic 2. As a reminder, if you do not see the PowerMic 2 tab, something went wrong during the profile creation process or perhaps your PowerMic 2 became unplugged from the USB port. Otherwise, we're going to see a PowerMic 2 tab. The PowerMic 2 options menu is basically divided into three sections. The first section is just an image of the microphone itself. The second section, or the middle column, displays the available buttons to be programmed. On the PowerMic 2, there are 10 buttons that can be programmed. The third column contains the available actions for each button. So notice that there are actions assigned to all of the buttons. Again, that happens when, uh, when you create your profile, but we can go ahead and change those actions. To reconfigure your microphone, open the action list next to the button you wish to reconfigure. As you can see from the image on the left, the button selected will illuminate once that action list is displayed. This is a visual reminder letting you know or reminding you which button you're about to program or reprogram. When we open our action list, there are seven categories to choose from. I'll go through those and explain them. The top one, none. none will essentially disable the button. Moving down to actions, we have two options in this window. We have show dragon bar menu, which will open the profile section of the dragon bar. Or we have the show dictation box, which will open the actual dictation box itself. Moving down, we have some dictation commands. These are going to invoke the basic dictation commands available within Dragon Medical Practice Edition. We have microphone on or off which will control the microphone. We have show correction window, which will open the correction dialog window. We have microphone sleep on. This will toggle the microphone between the sleep position and the on position. Press to talk is a popular. Essentially it means when you hold down the button, the microphone will be on. When you release it, it turns the microphone off. Train new word will open the add individual word dialog box. Transcribe recording will open the transcribe from dialog box. This is very useful when you're using digital voice recorders, pocket PCs, or PDAs. Then we have transfer text. This will transfer any text dictated while you're in hidden mode. Going back, we have navigation. Navigation will control the audio during playback. We have a few options here. Skip backward, which will select the previous word. Skip forward, we'll select the next word. Press OK, we'll activate a return, or basically press the Enter key. Press Cancel, we'll do just as it says. We can tab forward. Previous field. Previous field is when you're working with templates that have variable voice fields. Previous will select the prior variable voice field. As next, we'll select the next variable voice field. Except defaults will clear all remaining variable delimiters within your template. Moving back, we have recognition modes. Our force normal recognition allows you to dictate and say commands interchangeably. This is the normal mode of how Dragon is put in. You can also force dictation mode. So this will interpret everything you say as dictation and nothing as commands. Moving down, 
force command recognition. This will interpret everything you say as commands so that nothing is transcribed as dictation. Moving down we have force numbers recognition which will interpret almost everything you say as numbers but you still can use commands while you're in numbers mode. We have force spell recognition. This allows you to say any combination of letters, digits, symbols, or keystrokes. Finally, we have hidden mode on and off. This will send your text, if hidden mode is enabled, send your text to a dictation box without displaying the box. It's very useful within medical dictation. Moving back, we've got some playback commands. This option allows you to, to program commands specifically related to the audio during playback. So we have fast playback, or I'm sorry, playback, which is going to play back your voice normally. Fast playback, which is going to speed it up. Fast forward, it's going to select the next few words. And then, of course, rewind is going to rewind it. And finally, one of my favorite is user commands. This will assign recently recognized commands or macros to a particular button. For example, if you've created a custom command like open my favorite template. You can program a button on the power mic to invoke that specific command simply by selecting specify and entering the command name in. So those are all of the available actions you have to choose from. Now that you know what the action buttons do, now that you know how to set up and program your microphone, go ahead and set it up to meet your specific needs. To end the demonstration, I'll go through and I'll program this microphone to meet my specific needs. For transcribe, let's say I want that one to open up Microsoft Word. Go down, go to user commands, specify, and type in the command I want it to initiate. Again, select the button that you want to program, find the command that you want to give it to. It's as easy as that. If any of these buttons get in your way, you don't want it interfering with what you're trying to do, you can always go through and disable those bad boys. Let's say I want this uh, little custom button to open up one of my templates that I've created called Open Consultation. You can do that too. Again, go through choose user commands, type in your command name, you're good to go. Let's see, I'll have this one, I'll have this one except default. So once you've made your selections, select apply and OK and you're good to go.